In this trig substitution, I'm trying to match the form of constant minus variable thing squared, which comes from this Pythagorean identity, cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. That means the cosine squared of this angle is 1 minus sine squared, which looks like a constant minus variable thing squared. So I'm definitely going to substitute in a sine function. I have to take care of the 9 at the same time. So what I'm going to do is say, let x equal 3 sine theta, so that when I square it, I get a 9. And dx is going to be 3 cosine theta d theta. And I'm ready to transform my integral. So this becomes the integral of dx, that's 3 cosine theta, d theta over 9 minus x squared, but that's 9 sine squared theta to the 3 halves. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull the 3 out in front. And then out of the denominator, I'm going to take a 9 out of, out of this term. And when I factor that out, I get 9 to the 3 halves. That means you square root it and then cube the result. So I end up with the square root being 3, and then cubing it, I get 27. So this numerator is a cosine theta t theta. And then inside these parentheses, I have now a 1 minus sine squared theta, which is cosine squared theta to the 3 halves. Simplifying the constants out in front, that's a 1 over 9. And I have the integral cosine theta d theta over cosine squared to the 3 halves. So you square root it, and that gives you a cosine function, and then you cube it. So I have cosine cubed theta. I'm going to cancel one factor of cosine. That leaves me with cosine squared in the denominator. But the secant function is 1 over cosine, so I have secant squared d theta. This is now guessable. The thing I differentiate to get secant squared is the tangent function. OK, and then I'm not done until I rephrase this solution in terms of the original variable x. So to get that done, I have to replace theta. So I'm going to go back to my original substitution. So x over 3 is sine theta. That means theta is the angle whose sine is x over 3. So I'm left with, in my final answer, 1 ninth tangent of the angle whose sine is x over 3 plus c. And to figure out what the tangent of the inverse sine is, I'm going to draw a little triangle. And we're going to visualize the angle whose sine is x over 3. So there it is. And if, if its sine is x over 3, that means the opposite of our hypotenuse is x over 3. That's the simplest way to get it done. And then I use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what that missing side is. So I subtract x squared from both sides and square root the result. That missing side must be square root 9 minus x squared. So back to my final answer. I need the tangent of this angle, and that's going to be the opposite over adjacent. So I get 1 ninth. I'm going to x over square root 9 minus x squared plus c.